Welcome to week two. I want to start by calling attention to some of the incredible work that you guys did for project one. A few of your definitions of creativity that I thought were really well chosen included Linda Nyman of the consultants Creativity at Work, who defines creativity as the act of turning new and imaginative ideas into reality. And she says creativity involves two processes, thinking then producing. Innovation is the production or implementation of an idea. If you have ideas but don't act on them, you're imaginative but not creative. Others of you included one of the most famous quotes on creativity from Albert Einstein, who said that creativity is seeing what everyone else has seen and thinking what no one else has thought. Quite a few of you pulled from the Sienna Moran chapter we read last week. Moran is a research professor at Clark University, and she argues that creativity and action is taking a novel yet appropriate solution to a problem or response to a situation. And she's also careful to note that creativity isn't always necessarily spur of the moment, but includes the proactive devising, formulating, or framing of problems themselves. One of my favorite quotes about creativity comes from Maya Angelou, a writer and past American Poet Laureate, who said, you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. As for your web work, here are just a few examples of the pages and sites you produced using a range of templates, design resources, and inspiration. As for your creativity examples, the range was fantastic. So many and so much incredible illustrations of creativity, including music, painting, illustration, and more. These examples also included spaces like the Creativity Exploratory here on campus and the community-based Heidelberg Project in Detroit to classrooms for street children underneath railway bridges in India. As for your own creativity, your examples range from sonnets you've composed to craft beer labels you've made to all sorts of artwork. So last week's focus was on thinking about what creativity is. Um, creativity is a really big container and can mean a lot of different things in a lot of different contexts. This week we're going to hone in more specifically. We're going to focus on how creativity is engaged and enacted. We're going to focus on creative processes. And I'm pluralizing this um, really deliberately. I don't think there's one creative process. There are many creative processes. These processes are different based on who the creator is. Um, they're based on what the creator does, what media they engage, what tools they use, um, what the creator is, is making, for what purposes, for what context, for which audience, and more. To start thinking about creative processes, we're going to read the introduction from Jonah Lehrer's book, um, Imagine How Creativity Works. We're also going to read the introduction of Jay-Z's Decoded, and a chapter from a book called The Art of Innovation, which is um, a profile, the whole book is a profile, of the internationally renowned design company IDEO. Connected to that, I'm going to ask you guys to take a look at a project from IDEO's creative portfolio, a genetic symphony that IDEO facilitated for the company Genentech. My brother, Dr. Jason DeVos, uh, works for Genentech, and he's going to take us briefly into his work and his creative processes. From the IDEO Genentech chapter and case, we're going to move on to another illustration of the creative process, a creativity case of a designer creating a book cover. The second creativity case is of um, another designer's creative process while he's designing um, a slideshow presentation, and it's a quick uh, capture of his process of creation. Then I'm going to ask you guys to take a look at the final product, so you can kind of compare the process to the product. And then a third piece to this creativity case um, is a link to a video in the complete song that the designer plays as the soundtrack for his creative um, process video. It's by a band called Sigur Rós. Um, they played this year at Coachella. And a lot of their songs are actually written and performed in a language that they created, Hopelandic. Then you guys are going to take a second creativity test and take a look at three more creative cases. One's a quick interview with a cartoonist. The next two are examples and illustrations of creative processes. Finally, you're going to explore a creativity sample, um, the work of a paper cutting artist, Beatrice Caron. Remember, 
again, you're probably going to have to copy and paste uh, video URLs from YouTube or Vimeo out of Angel and into a new web browser window or tab because Angel just doesn't handle video as well. For project two, you guys are going to represent your creative process or processes. The product of this week's um, project is an image file and a brief written explanation. Um, the full assignment and an example is posted on Angel in week two. Um, so to get started on project two, take a look at this week's creativity readings, cases, and samples. Then take a look at the project two overview and example. Happy creating! Hey.